Thank you for being here today. My name is Bob Wager. I am the new tight end coach here at the University of Nebraska. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here and uh, look forward to, to having a conversation with you today. Thank you for having me. Questions, guys? Uh, Amy Just, uh, Lincoln Journal Star. What have these last few weeks been like for you and just going from high school coaching to being up here, big move, just getting everything together? In yeah, it's, it's been a speedy transition. Uh, you know, I came around the first of the year, was here for a little bit, and then traveled back to Texas and, and did some recruiting there. And so uh, I've done more traveling here in the last month and a half or so than I, than I have in quite some time. But, um, you know, just awe-inspiring, to be honest, to have an opportunity to be a part of this university and, and uh, in this football program and, and meet the people in this community. It's been, it's been an awesome journey thus far. Hey, Co Coach, I'm curious. Um success in the high school ranks. Had you had a lot of college opportunities before, and what was it about this opportunity that drew you to Nebraska? Well, I think anytime you surround yourself with great people, and, and uh, it's amazing what those good football players will do for a guy's career, and, and we did have a great deal of success, which offers uh, and provides opportunity, uh, but the timing wasn't right. Some of that was family related. Uh, my kids are older now. I've got a senior son, um, and at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's Coach Matt Rule, a great staff that I've had a chance and a pleasure to get to know in the last month and a half, and it's the University of Nebraska. That's different. Closely, did you pay attention to what Coach Rule did at Baylor when you were close to him, um, and, and and also the success that high school coaches in Texas had in going to join his staff? What what, what kind of an impact did that have on you and your decision? Well, very uh, paid very close attention. In fact, one of the very first schools that that Coach Rule with Joey McGuire visited on the recruiting trail was Martin High School, and so our relationship began at that time. Uh, got an opportunity to, to take a step back and, and watch that program grow and develop. Uh, have a tremendous amount of admiration for not only the, the development of the team and the individual athlete, uh, but also the approach that Coach Rule takes with the development of the human being. And, um, and that's right up my alley. Bob, Andy Kennedy from KTV. I know that you, you probably think, I'm guessing, that you can learn a lot. But what, what, what can these coaches that have been established in the college ranks learn from you and what do you hope that they can learn? Well, uh, no question that there will be a great learning curve for me. Um, <clears throat> but I have been a head coach for 26 years. I've been a high school coach for 31. Um, with that has come all different types of human beings, different types of kids, different types of coaches, different types of schools. And, and so I hope that experience gives me the opportunity to bring some value to the program and, and bring some value to the coaches and kids that are in it. Sure. Well, my early thoughts are it's all about building a relationship with these guys right now. And I've had a couple of opportunities to have dinner with them and, and sit down individually, build those relationships. You can't have rules without relationships. And so that's the phase that we're in. Uh, my early impressions are I look forward to seeing them every single day. I can't wait to have the opportunity to coach them. Uh, and more importantly, I can't wait to have an opportunity to build a lifelong relationship with the guys that I coach. <clears throat> You know, getting Ismail and Jeremiah here, I mean, what were your conversations with Coach Rule about, you know, what they bring to the roster and what have you seen from them? Well, I think the first thing for me to get here was, was to have an opportunity to be around the roster, to be able to make that assessment. And, and I actually reached out to Coach Rule before I came here um, and shared my thoughts on, on those two guys. I think they both bring, um, first and foremost, a, a great attitude into the locker room and, and a willingness to do anything they can to help the team which I think is a welcome addition to any program. Uh, but both of them dynamic athletes and, uh, and guys that I think will come in here and very humbly work really, really hard uh, to try to bring some value to the program as well. You, of course, been back to Texas just since you took, started here to recruit. What's the reception been like when you've gone around in, in, in a different role and gone into high schools and been with Coach Rule and other assistants in, in Texas? What's, uh, what have you seen? 
Well, it's it's been great. It's been a homecoming for me. Obviously, I, I've um, you know I put a lot of years in there as their peer, and I'm still their peer. Guys, I'm always going to be a high school football coach. I just happen to be coaching at the University of Nebraska now. And so that aspect of it, the personal aspect of it, was exactly the same. Um, but I also say that I think those coaches – that are, that are there, the high school coaches in Texas, the high school coaches around the country. When one of us has an opportunity uh, to, to make a step like this, we root for each other. And, um, and, and so I was very grateful for the reception that I got from those guys. And then obviously I think anytime you come in and, and wear this brand and, and, and walk in with Coach Rule, uh, it's a thrill for those kids and a thrill for the, for the high school coaches that you visit with. Well, I know we've made a great effort in the last in the last month. Uh, we had coach uh, in Houston. We've had a coach in the Waco area. Um, I spent most of my time in Dallas, Fort Worth, and, and deep East Texas. So there's a conscientious effort. Uh, can we bring the Texas high school football player to the University of Nebraska? Uh, we're banking on it. Well, you know, I just think that's an X factor at any level. Um, I'm really excited about the opportunity to learn from Coach Foley and then work with Josh Martin in that phase as well. And, and all of us will have a hand in that. Uh, but I do think that's an area where you can create some separation. We made a living on it at the high school level. And I'm looking forward to have an opportunity to bring value in that regard here as well. You know, I've, I've known Garrett since he was a young boy, and, uh, and I would consider that family. Joey and I have been friends for a long, long time. Uh, we coached against each other when I first arrived in the Dallas-Fort Worth area in 2006, built a relationship from there, and I've had an opportunity to watch him grow up uh, and not only be an outstanding teammate and, and player at the high school or college level, but a really, really sharp, driven young coach that's going to be wildly successful here and in the future. Bob, before this job, had you ever been in Nebraska before? Had you followed the program closely at all in your, in your time as a college football fan? Oh, absolutely. Um, now, I'm, I'm in my early 50s, and so my recollection of Nebraska football is – uh, you know, Thanksgiving night and, and being 15, 16, 17 years old and there was only, there was only one show on TV and, and had a tremendous amount of admiration for it. Our first trip to Nebraska, my wife, my family and I, our two kids, uh, tripped up here right before Christmas, had a chance to snoop around a little bit and, uh, and, and go out to dinner, be in, in the community, check out some of the different high schools. So yes, we, we did our homework before we made this trip. Well, I, I just think, again, like-minded in regards to not only the development of, of, of the athlete, but development of the human being and, and challenging them to be the very best teammate, the very best person, uh, the very best player that they can be. And, and that's right up my alley. I'm, I'm a character development guy. Um, I want the very best for those that I, I coach with and, and those that I get to coach. And, and so most of our conversations were always about human development before they were athletic development. Oh, we've we've had uh, we've had dozens of conversations, Coach McGuire and I. And again, I think the uh, the Texas high school football circle is a tight one, um, especially when they're close friends. And so, yeah, they've they've been great resources for me. What's Joey told you about looking out for Garrett and helping helping him out? Oh, uh, <laughs> Garrett doesn't need any looking out for. I will assure you, um, he, he's he's very very well prepared, and you're going to see that here in a second. Bob, do you think that? 
the Miles Garrett's of the world to, to come to Nebraska? Do you want to compete for the best kids in Texas here over time? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's uh, you know that's just a small part of this job, but but certainly I have great familiar with the with the state of Texas and the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, and we've got a brand to be able to go in there and, and, and um, create a great competition to, to draw the very best players into this program, this school, and, and this university. What, is it, what does it kind of mean to you to have your son Gage you know, be a part of the program too and kind of continue that? Relationship with well, I think uh, it, coaching profession is a challenging one, just just from a standpoint of time. You know, it, it takes a great deal of time to do the job well, and I've been blessed in regards to being able to have my family as a part of every school and community that we've ever worked at and for. And this situation will be no different. You know, I have a son in the program, uh, a wife and a daughter, very supportive of of what we're doing, and have them very very close to me is um, I couldn't and wouldn't want to do it any other way. Well, certainly player development and want them to have a chance to be the very best player that they can possibly be. But at the end of the day, if all we teach is blocking and tackling, I think we've sold them short. And, and so uh, I want to teach them how to be a good dad. I want to teach them how to be a good husband. I want to teach them how to be a great teammate and a great employee. And, um, and our meetings will always start with that, human development before player development. Bob, having come from the high school ranks so recently, do you feel like that gives you a need? a unique perspective on the recruiting trail, having been around these high school kids and knowing exactly what they're going through? I think certainly there's some uniqueness from, from a recruiting standpoint in the fact that I've been on the opposite side of the desk. And so I've seen a lot of, seen a lot of coaches come through. I've seen their interactions with players. Um, and so, yeah, I, I do think that provides a, a unique perspective for me. Uh, and, and had a chance to learn a great deal while I watched that process happen over the course of the last quarter of a century. Well, we're, we're just getting started from an X and O standpoint, uh, but we're, we're, we're busy at it. And I do know just based on past history that uh, we're going to use multiple tight ends. We want to be physical. We want to create a new line of scrimmage. And uh, I'm very, very excited about the opportunity to have an impact on this offense with the guys that we have in that room. I'm curious, how familiar were you with Thomas Fedoni? I know you worked with the high school American games and things before. Was he a guy on your radar that you knew about? Even before you came to Nebraska. Oh, absolutely. Um, and, and, and again, we, we'll, we'll make that assessment as we move forward over the course of the next, uh, the next several months. Uh, but yes, the, the, the great players, they, they pop out to you in advance. Guys, thanks a lot for having me today. I appreciate it.